Ever since I turned 12, music has been the main focus of my life. I started on the drums, then picked up guitar, learned how to produce and write songs, dabbled with some audio engineering, and I also tried to rap. Scratches on the ABA, the suit is on the finally tape, it always shop like but over all these years, there's always been one thing that I've never gotten into because I'm definitely afraid of doing it. Singing. Yo, my name is Colby Wallace. I'm an 18 year old musician from Canada. And if this is your first time seeing my face, scroll down, hit subscribe and turn on the post notification so you get more of my videos recommended to your feed. So the goal of this week is to get good enough at singing so I can post a video to my Instagram of me singing some kind of song without getting absolutely obliterated in the comments. All right, I don't really know how to go about improving really quick, so I'm just gonna start at square one and do some basic vocal warm-ups. Cause I know the two things that I don't do a lot of when I try to sing is one, warm up, and two, find the key that I should sing a song in. So yeah, we're gonna start from square one. We are starting with a hum. Okay. That's way too high. <laughs> There's no way. I, I physically can't sing that high. Well, warm up one down. Um, I honestly am better than I thought I'd be. There's that high stuff. There's no way I'm picking a song where I have to sing that high. So as long as my pitch is somewhat close, uh, I think we're doing okay. Let's find another one here. All right, I found a video called Daily Vocal Warm Up for an, or sorry, Vocal Workout for an Awesome Singing Voice. This might just be what we need. Let's give it a try. All right, let's start with an NG sound. Mm, I think I've done. Mm, okay, these. Doom, doom. Like, this thing goes on for four minutes like this and it's still going up. How could anyone sing that full range without having to drop to, like, I don't understand. Vocal fry. Uh... What? Uh... It's like he's gargling salt. Uh... <laughs> All right, so initial thoughts. I'm not as bad as I thought I'd be. There's things I gotta work on, like the gargling salt thing, but I actually kind of impress myself in terms of the level I'm at. It's, I, it's something we can definitely work with. At the start of this video, I said that the goal was to be able to sing a specific song good enough to post it on social media. And the thing is, I have absolutely no clue what song I'm gonna sing, none whatsoever. If you saw my last video, you'll know who Josh is. He asked me to sing Thing About You by Frank Ocean. I think he means Thinking About You by Frank Ocean. No, that part is like the biggest part of the song, that really high chorus. There's no way I'm doing that. He's a pussy. Honestly, I'm taking today as a win though. <coughs> Not as bad as I thought I'd be and we got our practice done. So I will see you tomorrow with hopefully some kind of idea of what song I'm gonna play. I think I found a song that I will be able to sing, not terribly, I was in the gym yesterday listening to one of my old playlists and the song Dark Red by Steve Lacey came on. And while I was listening to it, I started humming along a bit and it's not really that hard to sing. So let's get to this workout and I'll give it a try. Uh, uh, Hallelujah. All right, we're all warmed up. Let's uh, give this thing a try. Something bad's about might be so sad. I just hope. Okay, so I think I can do it, but I don't think this key is right for me because I'm singing it either too low or too high. I'm. I think I'm on pitch. I think. Wrong. But it just doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna play around with this. Probably learn the chords because I can't just rick be out of this shit and figure it out by ear. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow once I figured this out. 
It's literally 8 p.m. right now and I have not recorded until this point, but I've made some good progress with the song. Basically, like I said yesterday, the key of that song didn't really feel well with my voice. The original key of that song is F sharp. At least that's what the internet told me. I know with finding a key for a song, basically it's just trial and error before you find a key that works good for your voice, but I stumbled on a gold mine of a cover. It's three steps higher and in the key of A, and it feels so much better than the original. Something bad's about to happen to me. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. I don't know it, but I feel it coming. For the love of God! Might be so sad, might leave my nose running. I just hope you don't want to leave me. It ain't perfect, but it's a lot better than what we had yesterday. And I know I didn't record myself doing the uh, the vocal exercises today. I did them on the way to work. It's literally me doing the same thing out of tune the whole time, so you don't need to see that again. I promise I did them. I'm not slacking. You can see I've improved. I'm making progress, and I'll see you tomorrow. On day four, I ran through the exercises again and learned the chords for the song. At this point, I started to feel pretty good about the challenge and my confidence was growing, but day five would bring me back down to reality. I didn't have a problem when I was singing along with the cover, but the difficulty arose when I was singing by myself. I felt my pitch going all over the place. Without another singer, I no longer had a reference to lock onto for the melody. So I took to the internet to try and find a solution. But after watching a few videos, I realized that I had only discovered yet another problem. One thing I'm starting to realize is that I completely neglected the aspect of performance in general. I've been so focused on singing the right pitches because that's what I'm worried about that I completely neglected having any thought or any focus on the style because as important as your actual pitch is, your performance is just as, if not more, at least in terms of what I'm doing, because my pitch is okay, but what's really gonna make it is that artistry and that performance aspect. And it's this point where the self-doubt started to creep in. I started to second guess myself on the pitch of the notes, and I was just really worried about my overall performance. I practiced the song over and over and over again, but I still wasn't satisfied. One thing that I've noticed I do every single time I play this song is I always rush it. I think it all comes from over thinking this is just something I've overthought about every single time I've tried to do it and I've I feel like I'm really close with this I've improved a lot from that first day of practice I'll have to do a bunch of takes before I'm ready for this but I'm pretty close and so I went into the final day with little confidence that I'd be able to be successful at the challenge What is that? It is finally the big day. I'm gonna go through the exercises one more time and then we record. I was definitely better than I was on the first day, but I still wasn't satisfied. I came here to look good on social media and that's exactly what I intended on doing. I initially only planned to do a short video of me playing the song, maybe with some subtitles in the back, but once I actually tried to record it, I decided that we could go bigger. It's at this point where I decided I was just gonna recreate the entire song in my key and record a full music video for it and then put it on social media. So I whipped up the instrumental and then I started to record the vocals. Something's bad. Man, what the fuck? Might be so sad, might leave my nose running. Hell no. I just hope she don't You're want to You're making me very uncomfortable. Please Man, leave. Please leave. Don't you give me up. Please don't give up. But just like when I practiced the song before, something felt off. I do fine on one part and then completely mess up the next. I recorded 30 takes over two separate days and I wasn't satisfied with any one of them. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, you can just splice them together and put all the good ones together and auto-tune the shit out of it, right? And the answer is yes, but I didn't. And in fact, I never even recorded the video. Thank you. 
You see, the reason I took on this challenge in the first place was never just to make that video. It was something much bigger than that. And uh, the other special thing tonight, it, well, at least for me today, um, is I released an album today. For me, this challenge is about overcoming the thing that I've been so afraid to do for the majority of my life. So we're going to be playing a couple tunes off this uh, new record. Um, seven songs on it. We got a few for you here today. And the point of this video wasn't just to get good enough at singing to record that video and then just completely stop. It goes beyond that. So uh, the next one we're going to get to is the first original off the new album that I'm going to play for you today. I feel like when I do something, I progress to the point where I'm good enough and I don't go any further than that. It's about this, this special time of year, at least for me, kind of like the spring going right into the summer. I fall in love with something for six months, merely scratching the surface, but I never dive deeper than that. It's always been a very hopeful time for me. Like, you know, school's starting to end. It's, it's just representing a new chapter in your life. And the thing is, being good enough will only take you so far. And you're seeing where the next year's gonna take you. And I've never lost that special feeling, even when I was a little kid. So this next one's called June. All the people that we idolize, all the people that we look up to, all the people that have made it, never settled for good enough. Their success only came from having a desire to push beyond what normal people see as being good enough. 18! You me, son! Get it! 19! You me, son! Yeah! 20! You got some more in you! They're fine with diving deeper into the depths of the unknown. They're willing to climb to reach peaks that haven't been reached before. And as far as my life goes, I'm tired of just settling for just good enough. Music is the thing that I love most in this world. And to get to where I want to go to, settling for good enough is not going to cut it. To get to where I want to go, I don't need a seven day challenge. I need to make a change in my life. And the thing is, how you do anything is how you do everything and I am tired of doing everything just good enough.